In this video I'm going to show you how you can make kerning changes to a font directly within Adobe InDesign and how to apply those changes globally to your document. When you work with a professional font it will already have hundreds or even thousands of kerning values but ever so often a certain kerning pair might be missing or faulty or you might need different values because you need to use the specific typesetting rules of a certain language. There is no easy way to actually change the kerning values of a font but there is a simple trick for Adobe InDesign how to overwrite them and I will demonstrate this trick with two typical examples. In the first example we will change the kerning values of certain characters, in this case the French quotation marks. Depending on the language they are traditionally set with very large spacing in between. You can achieve that by inserting spacing characters but you can also just apply this spacing globally without actually touching the content of the text and this is what we are going to do now. So in this example we want to add space before the second quotation mark and behind the first quotation mark. Uh, we cannot actually use the kerning setting for that because kerning applies to the space between characters and cannot be applied to a character itself. But what we can use is the tracking value and that will basically give us the same result. So we pick a tracking value that seems right for us I choose 150 in this case and then we simply create a character style from that. I call it plus 150 in this case and just to check yes it has that tracking value already applied to it. I press OK and then I actually remove it again because I don't want to apply it locally I want to apply it globally now. And to do this we open our paragraph style settings and go to grab styles. There we say new grab style and we apply our just created paragraph style plus 150. Now we need to tell InDesign where this should apply so in the second line we simply add our quotation mark in like this. And as you can see here on the left side it was already applied to this instance but also to all instances of this character in the whole text. So for our second quotation mark on the right side it gets a little bit more complicated because now we actually need to change the tracking value of the character in front of the quotation mark. And to do this we need a so-called positive look ahead. And uh, that is then this way. So again we choose our paragraph style and now we type in a dot which basically means any character, any character that is preceding a certain pattern. And now we define this pattern, round bracket, question mark, equal sign and then we type in our quotation mark. Uh, we close the brackets again and then as you can see this is now applied to any character in front of our quotation mark. And there you have it. So whenever we use these characters now uh, in our text they always have the correct uh, spacing applied and of course we can go into our character style settings and uh, change the values again. If we don't like 150 then uh, we change that again and this is globally applied to our whole document. So this last example was about the spacing of specific characters but of course we can also use this trick to change the spacing between certain characters so the actual kerning values. So in this case I might want to change the default kerning between A and W in this case I think uh, it could be even closer together so again I'm changing the tracking value here again uh, let's say minus 50 I create a character style for it and I remove it again so I can apply it globally I go into my paragraph style settings under grab style and then under new grab style I say minus 50 to text 
a bracket question mark equal sign w so anytime an a is followed by a w the tracking chain should apply to the a character i type enter and as you can see it is already applied and just like a type designer would do it in an open type font you can also extend this pattern to include groups of letters so for example in this case i might change this to also include uh, a german umlaut or a ring i form a group of these characters and for w i could also include the v character And when I press enter and change those characters, as you can see, the spacing change is then also applied to these characters as well. So basically all kerning values the type designer uh, can set up within the font, you can override easily through the use of grab styles in Adobe InDesign. I hope you found this trick useful and if you do, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my site typography.guru.